Hello, today we're going to learn how to use waypoints in a wire. Okay, here we are on GM Flatgrass. First, let's set up our waypoints. Select our waypoints. I have a range of 75 for my waypoints. And click to set them up. I'm going to use 4 for this demonstration. And now to link them. First, right click on your waypoint. And then left click on the waypoint that goes after this one and do this all the way around all right let's now check to make sure they're all linked up and they are okay now to create our platform if you do not have Phoenix Storm's model pack, you can use a dumpster lid. The platform itself really doesn't matter for this demonstration. Okay, now to set ourselves up with some hover balls. Default settings work pretty well on this, anyways. Okay, now that we got our hover balls set up, let's grab ourselves a beacon sensor. I have split XYZ and output distance both selected. And try to center this. Okay. Now that we have it there, let's place a few thrusters onto this. I used uh, Coacan thrusters with uh, force multiplier 2000, force maximum 1. Good measure. Let's place a full eight on here. Okay, now to set this up, go back to our beacon sensor and link our beacon sensor to a waypoint. that one. Now we get to take a look at our distance. Our distance in this case is 604.27, okay. Move it over. Alright, so this is the X, X distance. So now we want to link this stuff up. Since it's a positive X distance out in here, we can put a positive force on the thrusters here. So let's put down an identity to save a little bit of wiring and put a negative on the opposite side or a negate if you will and now to wire them up put the output X now put the two thrusters to there and now we see they're in action. Okay. Let's put the negate here to the X here as well and then link these thrusters to it as well. Okay now for the Y. Okay we see what's negative and now it's positive. Okay so we're gonna set up our identity so that it goes this way and our negate so it goes this way now let's wire them together output Y and thrusters to our negation and our identity to the Y output and our thrusters to the identity Okay, so let's try this out. Let's let it go. Alright, there it goes. It's off. Okay, so what you saw just happened was as soon as the de as soon as the uh, beacon sensor got within a certain distance of the waypoint, the uh, 75 that we set for the range earlier, the waypoint will automatically set that beacon sensor to its next waypoint. It will keep doing this until, well, 
forever, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, so this has been a uh, demonstration on how to use waypoints in wire. Well, I hope you learned from it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.